we are back on the horseshoe curve for another video on launch day cue the intro Welcome aboard passengers, Mega Sim here. How are you doing? Hopefully you are doing well. We're on the horseshoe curve. Um, it's been a couple of days for me um, because, you know, we received um, the horseshoe curve earlier because it's being released on Tuesday. We've got horseshoe curve before the weekend, which was nice. Um, I have no idea if I'm allowed to say that. Anyway, embargo's gone. Got it Friday. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we got it Friday, did that on Friday, then I've had a really, really busy weekend. So this video is actually Monday evening, Monday night that I'm doing it. Anyway, sorry. Big thanks to Dovetail Game for providing us with a free game key um, and early access. And also big thanks to Skyhook Games who have created this route. So long trains introduction. This is what we're going to be doing uh, for this video. And then we're just gonna kind of take it from there. It'll probably be in one more video for today. Uh, just timings and things like that. We will be going over air braking, specifically for the longer trains you'll be operating. When dealing with long trains, as seen here, you'll need to have a heightened awareness of the entire train's condition. Most notably, be aware of the rear brake pressure as measured by the end of train device. But we'll go on about this in a minute. Right, let's uh, climb into the cab. Is it that way? No. Oh yeah, I get to open the door. I'm on the front, aren't I? There we go. Oh, gonna get stuck. Aha! In the ES44AC, the rear brake pressure is shown on the screens labeled rear. Um, where does it say that? Okay, so it's telling me to look at that one. But I can't see it saying rear. Where does it say it? Reverser? Rear? Ah, okay, so it must be rear. There. So, set up the brake rails, cut it in lead. Oh, no, it's one, isn't it? That one. Cut in and out. Lead or dead. Save changes. Exit. We're on level track here, so let's get the brakes ready to release. The brakes of long trains can take quite some time to come up to pressure. Okay. Set the independent brake to full application. Okay. And that one. Okay. This could take 15 minutes. While this is happening, let's have a look at the other locomotives. Okay, head to the second one. Anyway, sorry, whilst I'm here... Um, so yeah, we might just do three videos um, for today just because I've got so much on this week as well. Um, so I know that there's been, you know, a little uh, quiet on the uh, on the video front. That's just, yeah, there's so much stuff going on. But we are looking towards going back again uh, later on uh, in the week, possibly. Uh, it just depends what's going on. This is also an ES44 AC, but set up as a trailing locomotive. All the settings should be correct. Okay. So proceed onto the rear locomotive. Oh. Yeah, I can go this way, can't I? Okay. Ah. Minute 38. 
Now, you can monitor rear brake pressure from the EOTD module above the other brake gauges. Okay, let's have a look. Where's that? Ah, rear pressure. There we go. But I don't want to see it here. I want to see it... Oh. Okay, let's open that door. Close it. Open. Come on. Ah, that's why. It's because I got stuck. Here we go. Just want to make sure all the doors are shut, you know, in case it gets cold or... Or in case... Uh, what else would happen? What else would happen? Uh, in case it's raining. Okay, so we're back here. Okay, so rear is on 11, 12, 31, 28. There we go. Brake pipe pressure should be 60 or greater. Okay. Wow, well, we came in too quickly, didn't we? Uh, let's up that a little bit. There we go. Let's open that. There we go. Should have a look and see what's going on outside. Yeah, that looks nice. Maybe something like that. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, pressing escape now. I don't want to escape. Okay, anyway, yeah, so that's kind of the plan of action. So hopefully you are enjoying these videos and uh, hopefully it helps you uh, have a better idea of, uh, of the train. Uh, ah, brake pipe pressure, 45. So we need it to be 60 or greater. Uh, rear is 25. So it's 50 now. We can also see it down here, but there's a slight delay. See, look, if I look at this, this will go 51 before that will. Because it got this got to 50 before this did. Wow, it really does take this long for the brakes to release. It's gone down. Is it because I'm pressing automatic brake release? I am not sure. Whilst we're here, let's turn them on, turn them on. Yeah, that looks good. Dynamic brake, front headlights, bright. Brake pipe pressure should be 60 or greater, but, ah, maybe it's this one, main. Because I thought it was BP for brake pipe, but, or brake pressure or something, but it might actually be main. No worries, right, we're almost there. We're almost there. Da 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 da. Okay, we are. The... So we're at sixty. When this goes sixty, hopefully this will 
Flick on. No, I'm not looking in the right place then. Unless it's the rear that we're waiting for. Let's check. Oh. Yeah, brake pressure should be 60 or greater. Maybe it's the rear that we have to wait for then. Because we've got the main, we've got the rear. Maybe that's the one that we're waiting for. Okay, that's fine. Because it's all about the rear pressure, maybe it is that one that we need to wait for. Or it could still be this BP. Anyway, right, let's... Uh is very uh, tedious. <sighs> Train orders, nothing. Oh, okay. That's fine then. Anyway, what is your drink of choice for today's video? Oh, yeah, lovely cup of tea. Lovely hot cup of tea. Yeah, that's right. That's what we need. Just what we need. What do you think of the, because uh, I can say it, because I know about it. What do you think of the uh, Clunk Castle video that we uh, that we did? That was good, wasn't it? I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it very much. I know I'm tempted to do one of those uh, dining on a train, maybe at a heritage railway. If you've got any ideas, places close to uh, Derbyshire, let me know. Let me know what they're like as well. We're almost there. I feel like it's going down. Maybe you shouldn't press release because that might have slowed us down a bit. Oh. this training scenario will show you don't do it it's so boring so boring oh i can't do anything so i am sitting through this utter boredom waiting for the break point to uh, increase to 60 or greater so you don't have to Ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba. But I had a nice day today, I will say. Uh, went to Bolsover Castle today. That was quite nice. First time I've been there. Uh, had a look around and of uh, the ruins. Yeah, it was quite a nice place. Except when I went to the cafe and went, I would like a cream tea, please. Sorry, we only have cheese scones or cherry scones. Well, ugh, I don't like cherry. I went, how long till normal scones? When we don't have any yet so we would have to put them on in the oven and that will be half an hour and i went no so i went could you give me like a frankenstein version of a cream tea and they're like what do you mean i went you see that lemon drizzle cake yes can i have a lemon drizzle cake with a pot of clotted cream <laughs> and that is what i had yes i did
and it was gorgeous so yeah i had a frankenstein version lemon drizzle and some clotted cream with a lovely cup of tea the teapot gave me two cups of tea which is nice No idea how much it was though, because the wife bought it. But yeah, it was good, it was good. Loved every bit of it. But yeah, Bolsover Castle was nice. Went to the antique shop as well. Saw a couple of cool things. I uh, didn't buy anything my, myself. I know Little Megazine bought something and Mrs. Megazine bought a couple of bits, but yeah, I didn't buy anything. We're almost there. Oh, come on. So ER is now on 60, but BP, British Petroleum, is on 58. We're almost there. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey. <laughs> yes, never again am I going to use this training scenario. Skyhook Games, I kind of get what you're trying to do with this training module, but nope, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Do, 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 do. It ain't worth it. Yeah, anyway. We're almost there, then we can go somewhere. No idea where. No idea where. Ba -da, ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba 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 Right, so that's fifty nine. This is fifty nine. When this gets to sixty, hopefully this will kick in, but if not we're going to have to wait for this one to click into 60. Okay, so we're on 60 there, but we need to wait for this to go 60 before this kicks in and goes, Mega Sim, you have succeeded. Like that. Just like that. Come on. There we go. So sixty, sixty. Waiting for the break. Pop pressure, pressure. Do 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 So Rob, Rob put, uh, it mentions brake pipe pressure should be 60 or greater. Well, it's current, his is currently 63, but didn't trigger. Yep, so the, he's kind of got the same as me. If it is based at the rear, then the ticks, text should change to rear brake pipe pressure, where it says just brake pipe pressure. 
but in Sherman Hill, shouldn't that be 90? Maybe we're having to wait for the rear one, like I said. Hmm, interesting. This is the longest and worst uh, training scenario I have ever done. I am so bored out of my brain. Just going outside here. Is it gonna let me? No, okay. Du -du. <laughs> oh, I hear something. I hear something going on. Let me uh, take that off. Sounds like the trucks are moving, but they're not. How long is this train? Oh my goodness. So long. Why are the why are the trucks making that noise? You know what? I'm gonna stand here. Put that feedback in. Where are we? Oh, I've got loads, loads of time. Go on. Just get to the very end. Get to the very end. Or until the brake pipe pressure should be 60 or greater, and then I'll go back to the train. Which you can still do whilst plugging in a keyboard and pressing control and zero. I really hope I don't fall into a hole on this. That would be funny, wouldn't it? Just walking along and ah! <laughs> How far? Ooh, almost there. We're we going down. Whee. <gasps> Finally, no noise. Whee. The noise is gone. Maybe that's why that the brake pressure hasn't gone throughout the whole train. You've beaten the brake pressure. Yeah. So there's a red light on the back of this train. If not, we're in big trouble.
Okay. Oh, we've got something. Oh, I can hear it. Oh. That's wobbling. Blah, 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 blah. Ah. There's the brake pipe pressure. So this uh, journey wasn't a whole waste. So look, the brake pipe pressure goes into here and it's telling me that the brake pipe pressure is 57. Interesting, that's, I'm actually quite happy with that. Oh, I'm up high. Yeah. Except that it's not going any higher. Hmm, test. Does the test button work? Uh, nope. Let's just triple check. Oh, couple are locked. No, I'm not touching the coupler. I like that. That's cool. And again, I'm so bored that I walked down the entire train just for you. And it's only 57. Come on! It's raining outside. It's lovely. Come on. Come on. Oh, 58. Woo! We're almost there guys we're almost there 27 28 minutes into a video it's supposed to only be 20 minutes and the rear brake pressure oh wow it's chucking it down outside chucking it down it's just thrashing against the window Come on. As I said, this is just for you guys, just for you. Should have my volume turned off, shouldn't I? Yeah. Right, so 58 bars should be 60, but technically should it be 90? Why is that so low? Why is the... Hello! Weird. Let me up that a little bit. Hello! Yeah, sorry, there we go. There. Okay. 
Right, we're on 59. We are so close to 60 a Monday. 60 a Mundo. Talking of trains, I haven't watched uh, Dylan's travel video on the LIRR. Really need to, don't I? was last week wasn't it yeah was it last week three days ago yeah i need to watch that so yeah, as soon as it goes to 60 i will then press control zero to get back into the cab. Control zero. No. What? What is going on? Huh. I thought I was going to be able to. It's not letting me. Is it because I was climbing up these? Do you know what? I've had enough of this. <laughs> I'm going to leave this here because I don't want to walk all the way back. No. You'll have to wait till the next video where we will be looking at more of Horseshoe Curve. I'm annoyed with that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Big thanks to Dovetail for providing us with the free game key. And uh, Skyhook Games for giving us this uh, amazing scenario. You should all try it. Really, really, you should. <laughs> Social media links are in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Hey! Hopefully my videos are a lot better than this boring one. Anyway, have a good day, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Mega Sim, out of here. Bye.